Greetings, Dr. Byron C. Phillips, MBA, your professor, your life coach, your executive coach, and your tennis pro. The topic for this video is the introverts and the U.S. economy and the introvert economy. Allison Shager wrote that during the pandemic, many Americans were forced to stay home more. When this became a habit, many preferred staying home to going out, even when there was a diminishment of the issue with the pandemic. At the very least, we know the pandemic set up prevailing trends like remote and hybrid work. Keep in mind, we already had the technology for remote work, but the pandemic normalized it in ways that few people could have imagined. Shager also noted that people since the pandemic are going out less and they're going out earlier. For example, pre-pandemic, the average New York reservation time was 8.30 p.m. Now it is 5.30 p.m. There is less alcohol consumption, particularly among the younger generations. The older generations are consuming more alcohol, but it's not in bars or restaurants. They are drinking more at home. Spending on alcohol continues to increase, but note that a smaller amount of alcohol is preferred by the younger and favored by the older generation. People are watching more TV at home, streaming movies, drinking less and going out less or not at all. The introvert economy may lead to enhanced physical health, but a decrease in mental health because of the diminishment of social interaction.